Hi everyone, my name is Christian from Solitech Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to utilize the data replacement tool inside SOLIDWORKS Electrical. The data replacement command can be used to replace data project wide. We can replace manufacturer parts information, symbols, cables, title blocks and much more. Um, why do you want to use this replacement tool? If you, for instance, want to um, swap over a manufacturer from Schneider Electric to Siemens, um, you can use this tool without opening up and without going to all the different schematics. You can simply just swap out the manufacturer parts and it will automatically be updated in all schematics. Um, another reason might be that you're exporting to another country with different voltage requirements, maybe different voltage ratings, um, so you can automatically update all your parts um, by using this data replacement option. Good practice before you start doing this is to archive the environment. What that means is it will actually create a backup um, because once we replace the data, it cannot be undone. So always, before you do this, use the archive environment. Now let's go ahead and have a look at this data replacement. I will go up to the process tab inside the ribbon and we're going to left click on replace data. That will open up the data replacement screen. I can simply scroll through the tabs and see that I can update or replace manufacturer's parts, cable references, symbols, title blocks. This is project wide. So let's go back to the manufacturer parts for instance and as you can see I've got the Schneider Electric which is my push button over here um, and maybe I want to replace this by a different color or maybe a total different manufacturer. What I can do is I can simply select the part to replace it. If you double click in here it will open up the manufacturer's part selection. I can simply search and select a different part. So here you can see I was using the 18030 which is a gray. Now I might want to replace it by a red one or I can even change the manufacturer over here and just go for a different manufacturer. I'm simply going to select the red and as you can see it automatically is checked and it will replace this data by that one over there. We can do the same with the cables. So I've got a power cable over here I can simply replace that by another manufacturer and um, we can do the same for symbols and title blocks. Now I will just keep on going um, through the tabs and um, you can save this as a configuration file. It's not necessary because this is just a once off and I will click on finish. Note the warning again on my screen that this action cannot be undone. So I'm going to hit finish and it asks me now to save the changes. Yes. Actually, no, we don't need to save the changes. So you can actually save this as a configuration if you want to. Um, I don't need to, so I'm gonna just hit cancel. And if we go back to the schematics and have a look at the control over here, you can see that I've swapped out this contact. So if I would go to its properties, we will now see that I've got my red push button 18031 instead of my gray one. Now this was an example because this is just an example as I only used one push button. However, if you had a project with 50 different schematics, all these parts would now be swapped out, swapped over with the new manufacturer's parts. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you all next week.